Okay, I just want to give you a quick introduction and overview as to kind of some of the advanced Zapier features that have been coming out and, and some of the stuff that's really, really making this platform just like insanely powerful. So I want to talk you through a couple of my zaps that I have going on here and just explain some of the new functionality around like multi-step zaps and lookups. And this is some really cool stuff that we're going to be looking at implementing in Process Street and we're really excited about. So uh, in this app, you can see I have four steps. The first is a, is a trigger off Intercom, which is basically our system that helps us track users and manage support tickets. And so every time a, a new user signs up for Process Street, they get added to Intercom. From there, I have a zap that basically creates a new lead in close IO, which is our CRM kind of like Salesforce, which helps us track the different users from a sales perspective versus a support and helps us follow up with them, et cetera. So that's pretty standard. That's kind of how you would set up a normal zap in the past. But what's happened now when you have these lookup features, you can do a lot of really cool stuff. So firstly, you, I, can, I, I can then do a lookup, which actually does a search in my CRM for the email that I got from close to actually find the lead that I just created. So in this, if I look at the template, I can see here I'm actually doing a, 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 a contact lookup or a, a, a lead search in close. And my query, my search query is just the email address that I got from Intercom. But what happens when you do this, this search lookup? It gives you data that you can then use in future steps. So once I now have three actions there, or a trigger and two actions, I can then pull in data from any of those three steps. So when I ask here for Zapier to give me data, I can pull any of the data from Intercom, which is the new user that was created. I can pull any of the data from the new lead that I created, which is basically in this case, the same data or even less data than I had from Intercom because I'm all, I'm, all I'm doing to create this lead is, is passing the data from Intercom. But here from this step, I can actually do a lookup on that lead and find all the information related to that lead um, and pull it back and pass it somewhere else. And in this example, what I've actually done is I've actually grabbed the lead ID from close that we created and pushed it back into Intercom as a custom feed, uh, as a custom field. This lets us do a few things around uh, assigning tasks, et cetera, but it's actually not as useful anymore as it used to be now that you have this, this lookup option. So this is just one way we do it. We, it gives us a two-way sync with, in, with close and lets us do a few things through the API, but this uh, method actually resolves a lot of those problems and even needing to have the, the, the close lead ID uh, stored in Intercom so you can kind of sync those two contacts together. So that's the first one. The next one that I do is this gets a bit trickier. So the next step is this is a customer success app. Um, this is a pretty powerful one if anybody wants to steal it. So what we have is we have um, an integration with uh, close IO and Clearbit. Clearbit, C-L-E-A-R-B-I-T. Clearbit is a, a system, a SaaS product that basically when, when you add a new contact into your CRM or whatever, you can do a lookup on them and it comes back and it says, oh, that person works for IBM. IBM is this big, this is the information, they have this many employees, this much revenue, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you a bunch of data around uh, the, the lead that just signed up. And so what I have here is I have a trigger that says anytime there is... Um, uh, anytime Clearbit passes data into close, which is basically, I have a, I have a search here, which says anytime the, the Clearbit, the CB underscore employees custom field has any value, which means that basically anytime Clearbit finds a lead in our CRM and, and attaches a number of employees to that lead. So it has data about that, about that lead. It then sends that data back into Intercom. So this gives us some additional information about our customers in Intercom, how big their customer, their company size is, how big their, um, uh, what industry they're in, uh, whether they're non-for-profit, what sector, a bunch of things like that. And so we pass that data back into Intercom. But then I also want to set triggers based on like if this was a high value lead or not. So then I have a filter that's set up that says that we can basically call and reach out to. And so the filter is basically every time uh, a company with more than 30 employees signs up. So I'm reading Intercom and I'm saying every time you know, we pass this, this data back, if it's bigger than 30 employees and a phone number exists, do the following. <clears throat> I then create a task in close for, uh, for one of our sales reps to follow up and, and contact, that, um, contact that lead. 
we create a note in close and this is a bit of a bit of a hack solution but basically because our phone numbers don't come in in the exact format that close likes them um, we don't do a verification on them I just send the, the phone number in as a note and so basically that person can um, pull up the information from the note without having to go into the intercom account and find the phone number there um, then we also post a message in a Slack channel saying, hey, look, a new, a new lead just signed up with a phone number that has more than 30 employees. Uh, let's get on it. Let's contact them. And then I also send an email out to the sales team saying, um, same thing, you know, hot, fresh lead, high value lead just came in. Let's jump on it. And so you can see, though, that this, if you have any experience with Zapier and the difference between like a basic kind of, um, you know, two point uh, every time a new lead is created in close or every time my form is filled out, add it to MailChimp or, or update my CRM or whatever. Um, you can see that it starts to get a lot more powerful when you can do lookups, when you can do uh, multi-steps. And so you can think of things like this happening in process street when we have uh, form fields and a bunch of other stuff released, but you're going to be able to do say a lookup and say, okay, show me a process where the email um, contains this email address and then based on, and then find that process and then update this field for the contact or check off this task um, or find a <clears throat> find me a checklist with this name that is being that was started by this user and then check off task four or whatever you're gonna be able to do these kind of like really powerful lookups and then make adjustments to processes based on that data coming in so you could say for example if you had a process that included the client's email address you could say every time I receive an email from this email address, save it to the checklist related to the client as a comment. So basically in Process Street, every time automatically as you're receiving new emails into your Gmail account, they're automatically get it, getting attached to that client's process in Process Street. And so those are some examples that you could do with lookups that way. Um, but really, really excited about what's happening with Zapier and the new features. And I think this is a really kind of powerful way to automate a lot of stuff that you're doing in your business um, and even in your life. So check it out.